Hello, my name is Calvin Johnson. I'm so excited to do this short video on how to create a user's account in Microsoft 365 Admin Center and Microsoft Azure. So I'm going to show you the different method of how to create this account in the 365 Admin Center and also in Azure. So right now, um, let's go to Users and I, go to, I click Active Users. So here you can see I have several users which I've already created, but um, let me switch to Microsoft um, Azure. Uh, let me just switch to Microsoft Azure. Okay, let me just switch like this. Okay, Microsoft Azure. So here um, we have the Microsoft Intune. And if I click, go to my Azure Active Directory, and here you see I have users and groups. But also, if I decide to click on Microsoft Intune, I'll be re redirected to the Microsoft 365 Device Management, or you can also call it the MDM Microsoft Device Management. So, okay, first of all, let me go to my Azure Active Directory, and then I click Users. And here you can see all my users that has been created will be listed. So, well, if you look very close to the source of my user's account, you will see that I have the Windows Server a day. So, which means right now um, I have a domain controller which is on premises. So, I'm syncing my Office, my Microsoft Intune Azure or my Microsoft Azure with my domain controller. So, I'm using the uh, at the connect to actually sync both. Um, environment so every single account i create in my domain control domain controller on premises will be automatically um, created also in um, azure or will be actually display here in the microsoft azure so that's why you see i have the windows server a day which of course this account was created in windows my windows server and you can see this account are created in azure active directory so but for your information every account you create in Azure will not be synced with your um, on-premises device, which no, well, this um, any new account you create in Azure will not be synced with your domain controller, so you will not see that account in your domain controller. But if you create an account in your domain controller, surely you will see that account you've created also in your Microsoft Azure. So now let me let's create a new user account. So uh, I'm just going to type the new users account to be called um, Tina Johnson, and her user's name will be called Tina Dot Johnson at privateictls.be. So the profile, um, her first name will be Tina, her last name will be Johnson. So title, I'm just going to call her finance manager and she works for the finance department. So I'll click OK. And then we'll go to the default properties. And you can see the source of authority is from Azure Active Directory and which of course is not from my Windows server. So right now we are not going to actually um, assign um, the user to any group. Of, you can decide to just place the user to any group. I have some groups which have I've created before, but we're not going to assign the user to any group. So when I create the click on the directory role, so we're going to actually um, give the user um, assign the user a role of the user if the user is just an honorary user or the user is going to be a global admin user or is going to be a limited as an administrator. So we can also decide to assign the user um, different um, admin account so but for now and the user is just going to be a, just an ordinary user so she does not have any administrator role so i'm going to click create so the account has been created and i think it will be displayed as the last account in this um all users so her name is tina johnson so right now, if I go to go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center, of course, I can also create the account, the same account here. You see, I can create the same account here, but I did that for the purpose because if I create the account in Azure, I will not have the opportunity to assign the user an Office 365 license. 
but if I create it, the account in the three of Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I can actually have the opportunity to assign an Office 365 license to the user. So, but now let me just close this and refresh my Admin Center. And the user's account we just created in Microsoft Azure will be displayed actually here. So let me just scroll down and look for Tina Johnson. So here you can see that Tina Johnson has been created also in the in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. But well, if you look at the status, it says unlicensed. And also the account is in the cloud. Well, of course, you can see I have some account which, of course, the we are synced with my active directory. So if I click on Tina account, so here I have the opportunity to actually modify some settings of her account. So like, for example, you can see that the user's name is tina.johnson at privateecetls.be. Well, the product license at this moment, there was there is no product that has been assigned to her. So we can, if we want to assign a license to Tina, we can just decide to click on edit. And then I can choose um, first of all I need to choose the location for her I can say she lives in Belgium because I'm doing this video right from Belgium so now I have um, this is not a trial version of the Office 365 um, admin I'm using or Microsoft Azure I'm using the license version so I only have one license of Office 365 E3 and the Enterprise Mobility Security EMS E3. So I bought one license and this license has been assigned to someone else. So if I decided right now to assign Tina a license, I just click um, send a license to Tina and um, the E3 and also the EMS E3. So I'm going to receive a notification that says when you click add, you consent to purchase one additional Office 365 Enterprise E3 Enterprise Mobility Plus Security E3 license for this user. Which means automatically Microsoft is going to add one license to my already purchased license. So at the end of the month, this um, the bill will be accredited from my credit card. But right now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you that these are the possibilities of how to assign a license to the user so let me just click cancel and so we still have some actually some other things we can modify like we see the user um, has no admin access so we can also decide to modify the admin access and assign her or a global administrator but she's not a global administrator she's just a member of the finance admin, um, the finance manager so tina um, is just um, an ordinary user with no admin right so we can actually cancel that so I let me just uh, also change her password let me reset her password so now we see the password has been auto generated but I can decide to create one myself and just click let me create the password and then just type the password for her and then click reset but you have to actually check this make the user change the, their password when the first first sign in so when Tina decides to log logs onto her computer the first time, she will receive a message that says your, pass your password needs to be changed before you log down. So let me just click reset and you can see the password has been modified. So we also have the, po uh, the possibility to actually send an email, email the new password to the following recipient. So I can send it to the administrator and of course the user will be Tina Johnson. So I can also change this actually to the um, to our email address, but of course Tina will be logging in for the first time, so she probably may not have an email address. So I just click send. Uh, let me not send it to the administrator. Just click close. So I will definitely call Tina and um, or just walk to her office. She's close to me, and then just tell her what her password is. Definitely, she's going to change her password. So well, uh, this is just a short video on how to uh, create a user in Office 365 Admin Center and also in Microsoft Azure. So for your information, every single account you create in Microsoft 365 Admin Center will not be synchronized with your Active Directory on-premises, but every account you create on-premises will be synchronized with your Office 365 in the cloud. 
so thank you very much for watching this video so i hope you um, you like it and you learn something from it please don't forget to leave a comment and if you feel um you're satisfied with this video please you can always send me an email if you have any question or you can decide to um add me to add this video to your favorite so next time when i'm creating a new video you'll receive a notification that a new video has been created so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, as you subscribe to my channel you will receive a notification of more videos and new videos i'll be created thank you very much for watching my video bye